I've noticed that I can water my garden to keep the plants alive. But it is rainwater that causes supercharged growth. So, I decided to make a rainwater catchment system. I researched my options, which were, one, buy a rain barrel that for me was expensive, or two, make one myself. And so, after watching a few videos, I settled on a 44-gallon commercial trash can that would cost considerably less than a rain barrel and give me almost double the storage capacity if I bought two. I could finally take advantage of all that water falling from the sky during thunderstorms and hurricanes here in Florida. However, I quickly learned that my round hole saw blades did not have the right attachment to drill the size hole I needed for the spigot. And I had to do some quick thinking. After a little matching up, I decided a Fosner bit would do the job just fine. But at $57 per barrel, I couldn't afford to make a mistake. So I used a box to test the size of the hole for a good fit. Looked good. I planned to cut a hole in the top anyway, so I did a test drill to see how the Fosner bit worked on the plastic, and then how tight that hole would be for the spigot. It worked for a nice tight fit, and I could screw in the spigot. So now, I was ready to work seriously on creating my rain barrel. I planned to set the cans on cinder blocks to carry the heavy weight of the water. But first, I had to measure how high I wanted the spigot to be so I could set a bucket under it in addition to attaching a hose. Once I made my mark, it was now or never, and I started to drill. And what do you know, it worked like a charm. All I had to do was attach a washer and screw the spigot into the can. Once the outside was screwed on, it was on to the inside to attach another washer and screw the back bolt in place. With that done, I added water to the can to see if there was any leakage and if I needed to put silicon around the edges. But it was more than tight enough and I was surprised that even with a small amount of water, there was good pressure. So far, so good, and I was on to cutting out a hole in the top to let water flow in. I used a large bowl to trace the size of the hole I needed, and then a jigsaw to make my cut. I simply followed the line I created, and there was my hole in the bottom. I had some window screen left over from repairing a broken screen and decided to double that to cover the hole. Florida is famous for mosquitoes, so this would be perfect for keeping them out of my rain barrel. I had some leftover Gorilla Tape that I used to attach the screen to the top, making sure to depress the inside of the screen so that water would flow through.
worked like a charm, and I was now ready to position the can near the gutter downspout. The next day, when I attempted to arrange a gutter setup, everything I tried failed. It was then I realized I would have to move the can to another gutter spout, which meant having to empty the water that was in the can. Even though it was a small amount of water, it was still pretty heavy. So, I accepted that this would give me a chance to get some heavy use from the spigot to see how it would hold up while I gave some fish emulsion to the garden. I ended up having to use a bucket to get the last bit of water out of the can, but the spigot did its job with no problems. I got a little over two watering jugs for the fish emulsion, which gave me a chance to think through how I would set up the can in the new location. And the first step was to remove the water director to set up the new location. With that done, I could begin the process of leveling the cinder blocks. I was now ready to position the can in a good spot for the spout to deliver water. Then mark and cut the best length for the spout to drop water into the can. That done, I could put the elbow back on, keeping in mind that each link goes inside the one you're connecting it to. Learn that the hard way. All that was left was to cut the gutter pipe into a link that would sit over the opening of the can. And there we have it. I'll come back and add silicon to the gutter pipes once I was sure this was the position I wanted. And to do that, I had to spray water over the gutter. I'll admit to feeling a little foolish spraying water on the roof, but my system worked. And the screen blocked the sediment that came from the gutter. Now, all I have to do is connect the second can. But that is another video. See you next time.